What's going on guys? It's the boys from Retro Funk back at you with another video, another drawing from my boy Manny. Manny, what are we drawing, Doc? Because I don't watch anime. I know that's Dragon Ball Z, but... Uh, today we're drawing a Azaru, I think is what you call him, but it's the Great Ape pretty much. That's what I always grew up calling him, the Great Ape. So right here, we're kind of laying down like we always do. We just lay down a base color, just the coat to start off with. So when we go over it again, it'll add a little bit more depth. So that's what we're doing today. So what... what because I know there's like five Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT. Uh, I, so me, like, I, Jesus, I, man. as I got to a certain point, I just stopped watching anime. But then I got back into it just because I Which favorite like, anime? Let people know. I like Dragon Ball Z, but I think My Hero Academia and Naruto are my favorite right now. Because they kind of, kind of jump around. Like, the anime is different, dude. Like, you have a favorite one point, then you switch it up when another one comes on. But My Hero Academia is probably my favorite at this point. So, but why do you like, like anime? I think it's entertaining, dude. Entertaining? It's just like, it's different. I mean, like the, the art style is amazing. Some people don't like it because it's a cartoon, but I mean. Mm, like me, I don't like it. But it, you watch cartoons anyways. I don't. So you've never seen like Hanna-Barbera or anything like that, like mm. growing up? Mm. Well, this is more adult. Cause that, they, they, anime, I think, is a lot different versus like Western cartoons because I think to me, it, it touches on a lot of adult themes, like mentors, different stuff like more adult. It's hard to hard to explain because I'm I'm not really on the top of my head. I can't really think of anything. Mm. But it's a lot of a uh, lot of um kind of deeper um, storylines and arcs like that. But back to the drawing. Uh, right now it's just laying coasts. It's kind of like a tiling method I'm using. So the co the first layer is down, and I'm gonna come in with a darker layer to kind of add more depth and more uh more visually to the the, the picture. And if you can see like the top left, I, I sketch out what I'm going to draw before I even draw it, like on the main page. I think a lot of people get kind of concerned with, oh, I need to do it perfect the first time. Like, that's the point of a sketchbook. You draw what you're going to think it looks like, and then you work from there and just kind of add to it. So top left, I just wanted to see what I could do with the Goku different poses. And then, I, honestly, I just use it as scratch paper the next, uh, you know, for the, for the see, next uh, See what I months. like what you did right there? You made, like, it darker more than the whole tongue see like like the, like the darker brown the light brown yeah. like for me like i don't know shit about drawing but we're gonna come up with a series where manny's gonna teach me how to draw because i don't know how to, i don't know how to draw at all but like i just feel like that's like it's t it's yeah, stuff you know you'll, you'll pick like, up over time a yeah. lot of people like to think that it's a, like a talent that everyone can obtain anyone could draw if they really put their time into it like anyone could you know do sports if they really want to it's the same concept practice they always say practice makes perfect the same thing goes for drawing nah, uh, but you'll learn <laughs> as you as you as you go you'll pick up more things like me honestly i've never considered myself a, a great artist I, I mean I, there's still tons of things for me to learn and i think that's what helps me keep kind of drawing every day stop uh, you're a good artist shut out your instagram right now <laughs> shut out your instagram uh, <laughs> I don't even, I was like, what are you saying uh but yeah uh may the jet We'll put, put the link in the description. Yeah, we'll put it in the description, yeah. guys. If you want to check it out. But honestly, I'm not like the best artist. I don't want to brag about it. I'm I'm really learning. It's there's probably fourth graders that can draw better than me. But Maybe. that's not the point. Don't compare <laughs> don't compare yourself to other artists. Keep drawing what you're drawing and keep keep doing it every day. So now I'm just laying in like another layer. And this time I figured I don't want to put down a layer and then go over it again. I want to see how it'd be with the colors being more vibrant. So I left the spaces that I was gonna leave open. Um, for a different highlight, just kind of white. So that way I'd come in with a different color and it'd pop a little bit more. Because with the tongue, I, I put down a base coat, added a layer on top. I wasn't really too happy with it because it wasn't popping like I wanted it to. I would, I, it didn't stand out as much. Mm -hmm. So I figured, let me just try it this way. I'll go over it. And then if I have to layer, I'll layer on top of this one with the darker one. So you always want to start off light. Go light. Mm. Never go dark. Cause you, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. once you once you go dark, it's pretty much you could only go darker so from once there. Once you go dark, you never come back. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you want to go down that road. But yeah, try it off light. <clears throat> if it doesn't look great, you could always add another layer on it and, and darken it up from there. So that's kind of like a little tip right there. There we go. So like we come up with like random picture ideas all the time. But if you guys have any suggestions about what we should draw, like anything... Um, so let us know down in the comments. I think we talked. I think we talked about it like uh, where people should invest like good ass pens and paper because you don't know if this is what you want to do. I do that all the time. Like we, <laughs> from like and uh, I, I get like naked toys like Freddy Krueger and all those, and we like build dioramas. But like we build something, and I it's not Manny, it's me. I just like I just fucking fall off and I don't do it. So I have like, uh, so you think people should invest like in good ass equipment? I guess you could say, or like, whatever they do, kind of thing. If it's if let it be art or you know YouTube or, or uh, collecting like different things or customizing stuff, uh, I think you should kind of find a happy medium. If you really like it, 
see what you're doing, get the basics down. Like, you don't need expensive art supplies to be a great artist. Like, mm. you just have to draw. Like, honestly, all you need is a pencil and a piece of paper. And you can practice and get better every day. You'll learn different techniques. And then from there, if you feel like, okay, I want to invest in a little bit more uh, yeah. higher quality stuff, mm. then go for it. Like, right here with, with these markers, the one I'm using right now is a Copic. But I switched back and forth between these cheap markers I found on Amazon. There was like a, I want to say over 30 markers for like, 30 bucks. So it's like almost it's like not, a dollar a marker. Yeah, it's not bad. So, and you'll get a ton of variety, like that one right there. I, I don't know the name, but I'll figure it out and then, um, you know, we'll put it in the description or something. Mm. But honestly, that's all you need is just to practice and, and try every day and, and you'll pick up different techniques. And like I said right here, I was like, I don't like how light it is. This guy looks like a beach boy. So, <laughs> let's see, he has blonde hair, so I'm going to darken it up. So I just went with like a little bit of, of a darker brown and just kind of added it in. And I was happy with it right there because I figured Vegeta has darker hair. So um, I was happy. And always have like scratch paper. See what the color looks like before yeah. you add it onto what you're actually drawing because you might regret it. So right here, I'm just kind of, all right, well, what's the color looks great? I'm looking for a yellow. So I was happy with this one. Figured out it looked okay on the scratch paper and then went from there. And um, a tip with the markers, it, it, people kind of get different layers. Like you can see the streaks. Um, yeah. I hate, I don't like that. I'm not a really fan. Like it bugs me when I do it. So um, what I learned is you just kind of have to layer it on top. Once you go over, you style the streaks, go over it again, and it'll kind of go away. And uh, you don't want to start a piece and then stop and then go over it because you can definitely see the different streaks. So once you mm. layer it on, layer it on thick, and it'll definitely um, look like an even coat. And right here, I'm doing highlights with the yellows. You always just start with the light one, put a little bit darker for the shadows, and, and go from there. So it's just um, using grays to add shadows. What I did with the pencil, I got a pencil first and I sketched out the lines what I, where I wanted them. Just super light, so when I went over it with the marker, you couldn't really see it anyways. What I think I don't know if we talked about this in other videos because it's been so damn long, but who <clears throat> who do you like, like your favorite uh, artist? There's a ton, like, I think we have talked about it before in an yeah. older video, but it's always nice to recap. Yeah. Um, but... To me, I always grew up seeing like Norman Rockwell before I even knew who Norman Rockwell was. Did we do a picture about him? The I have no idea. It's, been, the... it's been a while. The Superman Eagle one? Was no, that that's not a Norman Rockwell one. I, I've done a couple of drawings because I, I admire his work and I look up to him. Uh, but he's just an old time artist. I, I my mom would have paintings and stuff like little prints around the house, and I was just like, "Who's this guy?" But he always kind of like to me is intriguing, just his mm -hmm. art style and stuff like that. So. I always had that in the back of my mind, and Alex Ross, Jim Lee are guys that yeah, I think I, I are like, like amazing. Yeah, Alex Ross, he's like the modern day like to Plus me, is, Norman Rockwell. Right now, uh, Manny's coloring Go, uh, Goku, Goku. Go, doing the dab. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Anime Ali. That's this yeah. is this is like inspired by him because you know because uh, he likes really he likes anime a lot. And if you guys want to check out his channel, I'll put a link in the description below. But like in his videos, he dabs sometimes. So we're like, hey, we should do Goku dabbing with something in the background, and this is what we came up with. But uh, I think the next video we should do is something with Game of Thrones something. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, just let us know. Um, but yeah, it was inspired by him. I think he's he's honestly entertaining because I stopped watching anime. There's one of his videos where he talks about why people stop or whatever watching anime. It's, yeah. It's just different. But I found it entertaining, so I, I saw him double dab. And he's, a, he's a buddy of Gabe, so I saw it. And I thought it was hilarious that he was doing that. So I figured, he's a let me put. King. Yeah, he's the double dab <clears throat> king, so I put Goku versus the Great Ape. Doesn't care what's going on, he just dabbed on him. And here we have blue. I think this blue was kind of like already at its end. Yeah. You can kind of see, the, you can't see the streaks, but I mean, to me, it's like whatever. It's just a drawing, so I'm gonna add to it. Mm. And and it ended up. I kind of like the um, the look of it because it kind of added like a like a cloudy kind of dry oh, area yeah, in the yeah. background. So I wasn't too disappointed. You always gotta just try different things. If it doesn't come out how you like it, I mean, oh well, it's just a drawing. You kind of you know learn from it and keep moving on. So yeah, but this is who is it? Goku and the Great Ape. The Great Ape. This is the picture. Yeah. So yeah. if you guys like it, um, the old anime I like it was the Yu Gi Oh. Is it Yu Gi Oh anime? Yeah, I would count that as anime. But you know, right. tell us what you guys think. Like, subscribe. So I'm, I'm not a weeb. I like anime, but yeah, I'm like... a, I'm a, I'm a weeb to the bone. Dude. <laughs> Apparently, I found out I am. So you, know, if you are, you are. All right, guys. Peace. Have a good one. Let's go. Let's go, guys.